Now I'm going to show you how to do some eclipses. Those are the areas of the foam where they're around openings, uh, where the foam is actually popped. And you see some of the darker color. I'm using a liner brush, script liner brush. And I've added a little um, linseed oil to this brush and, and to the paint. I'm just going into a little white. But I'm just touching with the tip of the brush and wiggling. Let me hold it a little bit out for the, there you go. I'm adding quite a bit of paint so you can see clearly how I'm adding a little bit more around some of these holes that I've created. The key is to not have too much fun with the paint. You want it to not stand out. You want it to be closer to the paint that you're going over in value. So if I were to um, not be so concerned about you seeing this, I would hold it straight out from the canvas. So I'm only using just the tip. Because this paint's so wet, it's very easy to change the values just by going into other places, other areas, where it picks up some of the paint color and gives you darker shades. Now this is what I'm doing in I'm doing these little wiggles side to side and I'm coming around in a circle but I'm focusing on what I see. See here's a little circle of dark so I'm going over top of it or around it and it accentuates that hole or opening. Now with anything that you try to paint, less is best. That's always the rule of thumb to use. So I don't want to add too many circles. I don't want them to all look like circles. I don't want them to be all as bright. That's why I keep going into different areas while it's wet. You can do it while it dry, you know, when it's dry too. But um, it's a little bit easier when it's wet. So I'm looking for it to look different in each of the areas that I'm adding to. And the more you shake, the more natural and gorgeous they will look. The canvas, this one in particular, has a lot of weave to it. A lot of thick weave. So it will grab what it wants to as you're using a light pressure and it automatically looks nice and different. I don't do every single trough area because you don't see that out in the ocean. The more you look at the ocean, the more it will become more familiar with you as to how it looks or how you want to portray it when you start trying to paint. Sometimes I don't go all the way around a hole. And there you have it.